there yarn lovers, it's Gary and I'm coming to you from my happy place, the Yarn Corner here on Vancouver Island in Canada. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Today is Tuesday, August the 15th, 2023 and this is my second recording of the day. I'm not sure when I'm going to release this video because I have just uploaded one scheduled to drop in two days, so maybe in about a week you'll be seeing this. So this is a pre-recording and we have almost hit 200 episodes. I'm at 196 and I want to say a special, send a special message to those who have watched and supported and subscribed to the channel over the course of the three and a half years. I'm almost hitting my four year mark in October. So there's things to celebrate. And I looked at the analytics uh, which is our dashboard here on YouTube. It's called The Studio. And I saw that the numbers of subscribers and supporters of the channel have reached 16K. Uh, I'm absolutely floored to have hit such a number. I would never have assumed I would get there. And I've had so many helpful supporters along the way, other YouTube channels, that I adore and, and, and really admire, people who have such wisdom and talent. And uh, I'm always floored that uh, um, they reach out to me and they've given me support either through the comments of my videos and they have, you know, reached out to me through email and I visited a few of them. So I'm super, super touched. Uh, this journey for me when I started to record videos talking about my yarn crafts, mostly knitting and crocheting in the beginning, was for me to journal the entry of all of the stages along the way that I would uh, find all this wisdom and explore all these different techniques in the yarn craft. So, you know, how to construct a sweater or how to color change or carry yarn up the side of a, a fabric. Uh, interchanging and interlocking yarn to create different um, styles of patterning. All those things were really intriguing to me. So I'm still on my journey. I'm still not there. I'm learning lots of things. And along the way, I've met all these wonderful people who have shared their wisdom with me. Uh, they've become friends and I've met some of them. So I, I just am so really touched to have had this experience and I hope that it continues on. Now, I do want to give back. It's just a little bit of the nature of uh, the scammers that are out there. And I don't want anyone to be uh, swindled or scammed. So it's kind of been a little bit of a uh, sensitive issue for me to uh, do a, a gift back to the community. I'm trying not to use the words, but <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. So uh, with that, um, know that, uh, you know, I love you all and I'm really, really appreciative of all the time that you spend and the support that you give me, the encouragement, everything to move on with this wonderful journey that I'm on. Um, I'm going to shift gears now and we're going to talk about what the title suggests, and that is a purchase that I made from Lovecrafts. So Lovecrafts is a online store. I've read my shipping label here on the box that I purchased the yarn, and it arrived in this box here, and it's telling me that it's come all the way from Illinois in the United States, and I normally would buy from yarn Lovecrafts in the beginning when I first was starting out and the yarn was really affordable and it seemed to have great clearances and then I noticed that it was kind of like uh, less and less uh, attractive in the way of discounts uh, over the course of the years that I've been on YouTube but I did see something in my mailbox and I do occasionally peruse back over on the website and they had uh, some yarn that people were asking me to try out uh, for the DK value yarn called Stylecraft. And I saw it, it was discounted. They had a coupon code I used 
and it was dropping the price of the balls to a, a more reasonable amount of uh, pricing. So what I'm going to do is read off the price point in Canadian currency because my settings on Lovecraft are set to Canadian currency. And what I'm seeing here is that each ball of the Stylecraft was $3.99. So I got a few colours and I also bought a book from Rowan and it's some knit patterns. I thought that th that was a very good discount uh, from $20 or what was it say? $23 all the way down to $5.20. So I thought that was a great discount. So I picked one up as well. So let's take a look at the yarn that I got. Stylecraft Special Double Knitting. And I think this one will go really nicely with the other DK value yarns that I have. And I like the quality of it. The texture is really nice and soft. I'm going to give it a three out of five for softness. The twist on it is a medium twist and it does have a nice little elasticity to it. I give that a definite good three weight yarn, a DK. It's a nice one. The um, finish is matte, but it's a nice velvety type looking finish for some of the colors. Definitely this one. The others, as they get lighter, it loses that kind of velvetiness, but uh, that's a really nice quality acrylic. Uh, not bad for at discounted price, $3.99 Canadian. Uh, I'm getting 100 grams in this ball which offers up 295 meters or 322 yards. It is machine washing ball and tumble dry. It's suggesting here to use four millimeter crochet hook or knitting needle. And it's made in Turkey. The colorway that I'm holding is called Emperor. I love that color. That is super cool. So let's take a look at the other colors that I got. I was surprised to see so many colors in this collection. I know that Lovecraft doesn't have the full range, but it's somewhere in the vicinity of a hundred and something colors. And I think Lovecraft at the time that I purchased had about 90 of them. Um, yeah, so that's a really good value yarn. I'll just put that back in there and grab another color. This one here is called Burgundy. This one's really bright and I think it's going to blow out a little bit. Yeah, it, it does look a little bright, blown out. It's called Matador. Really nice. It's kind of an orangey red. This one here is called Teal. Very green teal. This one's my, probably my favorite out of the whole box because it's it's a nice almost mm, fox color and definitely an orange and it's called tomato that's probably my favorite out of the bunch here with with that emperor color those are my my besties and this one here is called stone A nice neutral. This one here is called Parma Violet. Must be a name of a flower. It's kind of standard. I have some other one here that looks slightly similar, maybe a bit more pink um, in it. It's called uh, Clematis. So this is the Camelomatis and this is the Parma Violet. I have this one here, which is one that I really like as well. And that one is called Bluebell. It's kind of a cute name. I got two of these 
and those are probably grey, no, it's silver. I get two of the common neutrally colours, so if I'm wanting to blend uh, that I use a grey or I use an off-white, so I got, in this instance, I got the silver. And there's two more here. This one here is called Wisteria. It's a lot of purpley colours. And this one is called Lavender. So out of the purples, if I put them all together, I have a nice palette of colour work that I can do that's sort of on the same side of the colour wheel. And one last one here, which I haven't shown, is called Sherbet. I really like them. Now, some of the colours do feel a little different from the rest. And uh, this one here, I would say it's soft, but it does have a little squeakiness to it, whether that's kind of a bit more to do with the dyeing technique of this uh, dye lot, or if it has something to do with the dye itself, creating a slightly crunchier factor to the, to the yarn type. But uh, yeah, I would say they're great economic yarns. Now for the book that I purchased, this one was going for, what did I say, $23 or so thereabouts. And they dropped it down to $5 when I used the coupon, uh, $5.20. And it's called Rowan, the Alpaca co Collection. So I did like this patterning across the top of the jumper. I'd have to do some editing to the rest of the design only because I'd need to lengthen it so it's not a crop top and maybe make, shape it for a boxier type um boxier type uh, trunk like I have uh, in my body shape and they have some other wonderful color work sweaters which I'd like to do that again it's more of a, a sort of crop top it doesn't sort of hang below too far the belt line so I'd have to change that up and maybe uh, figure out my own uh, patterning repeats so that I get the better shape and size for myself. And this is a just a quick look at some of the other things that are in the book. So I've got some hats, have some ponchos and some cardigans and cowls. I probably won't be doing all of them. I do find myself looking more so at this colour work sweater from the front cover and that colour work sweater as well up there. The rest, I don't think that I would do. Maybe the cow, one of the cows I probably would attempt to do. But there's how many patterns in there? Three, six, nine, twelve patterns in the book for 520. I thought that was a, a good deal. And for shipping because we're talking about it coming all the way from Illinois, I did pay for the shipping. I paid $13.95. Now, that's a great deal for shipping. So I think what's happened with Lovecraft is that they're offering some cheaper deals with, with shipping, but they're covering their costs through the more, uh, I guess, adding it to the, the value of the yarn. So I think either way, the money that you're paying out is probably the same at, at other sites that may you may pay more shipping for, but then the price of the yarn is cheaper. So, um, yeah, I am slowly learning that that's the case from watching other videos on YouTube and how they rep represent the value of the yarn ball against the shipping costs, and then sometimes you know, it's, it's either the scales weigh in favour of one or the other, but they balance up in the end. So all in all, I'm super happy with the discount that I got from 
my coupon code that I used on Lovecraft. It was yay, Y-A-Y. It's probably not in effect anymore, but I did get myself from looking at my bill. Uh, I got a discount of $20 on the whole order. So that worked out nicely. Now that brings us to talk about what Hank, my man for me, is wearing. And he's wearing a two colored slip stitch pattern called Array and it's by Shibui Knits. I believe it's a free pattern on Ravelry. I'll include the link down below in the description box. And if you're interested, you can go over and take a look. Now I did modify the pattern a little bit. It is intended to be twice as long so that you could uh, fold it over and wear it like uh, double. But uh, I wanted to just uh, do a sample of the slip stitch pattern using uh, some yarn that I got from Hobby for a review. And the two yarns I used from memory were the butterfly yarn and the Dolce Cashmere yarn. So the colorway for the butterfly was called Sulphur, I think. And the colorway for the uh, Dolce Cashmere was called Pebble. Wonderful, they played well together and uh, it creates a really nice drapey fabric. So I really like the, the color combinations. And I guess that catches you up with everything in this box of yarn. And now I'm gonna go and put it away on my shelves with the other D D DK value yarns. And I, I might include, I think I already am including this color in my next nature's walk that I'm gonna start in probably a month's time. So be looking for this color. It's gonna appear again, cause I love it so much. Okay, with that, I wish you well and have a great week. I'll catch you up soon. Bye.